I'm curious, uh, you're, um, you're in one of those few companies left in Canada and Quebec that are actually publicly listed. We notice over the course of, uh, there's a, a tendency, partly in the U.S. because of private equity and in, Nor in uh, Canada because of uh, pension-sponsored funds or labor-sponsored funds. They've taken up a space in terms of how we finance companies. You're in a publicly listed company. I'd like you to talk to me about your relationship and the support you, you managed to gain from the various types of uh, business partners and financial partners you have as a publicly listed company, those who provide you the fuel, the funding, hmm. and you, how you manage that. Well, you should have asked me if I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think everything you do has to be out of respect. You, you have to respect the fact that people are investing capital yeah. They could invest somewhere else, yeah. okay, into your company because they trust you. Yeah. Uh, they believe you. They uh, understand you when they don't. They, they, they need to clarify things. Uh, we're going through a, um, here's a perfect illustration. The, uh, uh, an interesting summer at Canam. Stock went down a little bit. And in the, mo in the month of July, I get this email through the company's website by mom and pop investors in Quebec. Yeah. Dear Mr. Dutille, uh, we like your company. We're not selling our shares. Good yeah. luck, we're, okay. I don't know if it's 5,000 or 500,000 invested with us, but it is their money, yeah. okay? So you, you have to make sure you understand that the journey is not about just yourself, okay? And outside investors, it's a tough job.